Hello, my name is Marquis the Cat. That's, well, my name is Serge, but I'm translating for Marquis the Cat and the, the alien behind us. We are the trucking spokespeople today on the internet. So Marquis, tell me in your ear about the trucking industry. That's right, we just watched the Asian Mai show and we're talking about the trucking shutdown on Monday the 27th. <laughs> Dasha, what are you doing? I'm trying to make a video with the cat. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Anyways, trying to make a serious video here. We're, we're just gonna have the the alien statue behind me as a guest on the show. So I just watched that there's a trucker shut down on Monday because they're making some outrageous vaccination rules or laws. I'd call it corporate agenda laws. Nasha's trying to really distract me. Anyways, um, if you don't want to get vaccinated, you know, whatever happened to my body, my choice. What is it? My body, president's choice or Biden's choice? Now, let's all make some sense out of this. How should I say like recently, the Ohio governor said that the United States president is overstepping uh, boundaries, um, boundaries of authority. Um, and this prompted a conversation between Dasha and I over breakfast, and we, she said, well, who's actually higher than the other? It's, we have presidents, we have um, state governors, city mayors, we have sheriffs. And in, in each of those levels, they're all in, in charge of various corporate authority positions that are in corporate, um, corporate United States, corporate state level, corporate county level, corporate land level. And they're in charge of various levels of just land level. But we as civilians or as citizens are also in charge of various responsibilities and duties of corporate United States, states, state corporations, county corporations, our own persons, corporate persons. You know, the ID, the ID that we carry in our pockets, we're in charge of those, right? There's, there's um, responsibilities, liabilities, and also as um, those under the Constitution were in charge of making some wise decisions for, uh, for uh, moving on and exercising such a, exercising like the responsibilities and the, um, I don't want to say rights because, you know, that gets into really litigious stuff, but rights, rights, you know, the fifth amendment, that kind of stuff. So, um, we have an obligation. We have obligations to, to, uh, To exercise that 
and encourage others to exercise it just because that's what we're supposed to do because that's what this country is all about. You know, it's like having a car and you got to drive it every once in a while. Do what Scotty Kilmer, the YouTube mechanic, says. You got to give it an Italian tune-up every once in a while. You got to really, really accelerate fast in the car and drive it to its ability just to give it a little exercise through the injectors in the fuel system, you know. I guess that's the best way I could explain it because I understand mechanics of a car to a certain level that I feel comfortable explaining in that kind of way. So, I guess it's convenient for me to not drive on Monday because I'm not driving at all. But uh, this is why many truckers won't be driving on Monday and maybe you shouldn't either. Maybe we should at least, at least say this to each other, at least maybe pass this video along. I don't know, I tried to get you a good Polaroid over the cat, but he just doesn't want to do it. So you're gonna to have to do it. You're gonna to have to at least think of these thoughts. You know, the other day I went to go pay for a parking ticket and the security guards inside the building, they were like, oh, you gotta put your mask on. And I said, you know what? The guy that said he, he'll destroy the guy that got elected said he's going to end the scamdemic as soon as he gets elected. And they're like, yeah, he lied. I said, oh, well, thanks for admitting. You, thanks for saying that. You as a government worker admitting that the government says lies. So we as souls... We have a responsibility before the Creator, before God, to do what is in His best interest too, right? So all these corporate entity leaders, they're in charge of everything and in control of everything to a point and to a point they're not. To a point God is in control of everything and we are in control of everything. And that's where we have to use logic and reasoning and that's why the Constitution and all this stuff was written in such a way where you got to still think for yourself. And, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'm promoting. That's what I'd like everyone else to think for yourself. It's up to you to... Do your own thinking, not uh, not um, artificial intelligence, not an automatic driving car. So, um, nature's got its own way. God's got its own way, and and sometimes God places the government leaders in their positions to help us go through that way. But when they don't. They, the thinkers have to help find a loophole, you know, and, and it's okay if you work in the government and you understand that what's happening is incorrect and you find a way not to get fired and find a way not to enforce the the thing that may be unwise and unsmart. Because after all, the government said many years ago to many people, smoking is great for you. Smoking cigarettes, tobacco, the nicotine, they hand it out to soldiers, said it's a good idea. They even asked doctors to say and advertise that it was a great idea. There's, if you look on the internet, doctors advertising cigarette ads, you'll find them. 50-year-old advertisements from doctors saying which cigarette brand they choose and that it's good for you. But now, these days, right, of course, government said, hey, we made a mistake and actually we got to put a tobacco nicotine warning on each cigarette pack that's sold these days because 
we messed up. And it's okay, Mr. Government, to do that, to say, hey, before we thought this was a good idea, and now we know that it's bad, and we're saying that it's bad. You know, it's okay to say, yeah, I'm, I'm Mr. Government, and I killed George Washington. The government killed George Washington. Here's how they killed George Washington. Back in those days, they, the science and the understanding and the belief in the government was that if you're sick, that you have bad blood. So they drain George Washington's blood at the hospital. He got sick more. They drained more blood. He got sick more. They drained more blood, and he died. He died next to a Bible that said, in the Bible, the life of the flesh is in the blood. So, there you go. The doctors, science, the belief, the understanding of health and wellness back then killed George Washington. I don't think they would be doing that now. Draining George Washington's blood. They'd probably kill him another way. So, I don't even know why I brought that up, but it came to my mind. Have a good day. Have a good weekend. And hello from sunny Florida. Come on down and visit us.